All right, guys, I did a thing here. I did a thing. I got the ZVE-1 to give it a test. Now, come on now, let's do this. I got the 11 millimeter 1.8 lens on here. And I'm running this right now with, now this is an APS-C lens, all right? I got to get a, a wider, I'm looking at like maybe the Samyang 18 millimeter or the 17 by 28, 2.8. Uh, Tamron, but the 18 millimeter Samyang is going to be really light. But anyway, for now, we're gonna just gonna test this with this. Okay, so this is active stabilization. I'm not gonna do the standard because that's that's not gonna do nothing. So active stabilization. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it a little bit after post just to get the vignetting out. So you won't see the vignetting, but that's an easy crop. And you're editing self for it, boom, you can just crop it and be done with it. But this way, I won't have to use Catalyst Browser or whatever, like I do with my ZVE-10. So I'm gonna give them this a shot with 11 millimeter on here to see what it lo uh, looks like. I got it on Intelligent Auto, and I'm running it, and just letting it do its own thing. So how does this look? Okay, so this is active, right? This is the next best before you go into dynamic where it zooms right in, right? So if I wanted to, I could use a clear image zoom, right? So let's see what that does. I can zoom in if I didn't wanna crop. Zoom in a little bit and see what that looks like. And that could probably, that will probably take out the vignette on the edges. I think I zoomed in enough to do that. It appears I did, I don't know. I love this little tally light on the ZVE one. But you know, I, I got this for 1800 some dollars. So I'm like, okay, that I might jump on. I'm not paying 2200, but we'll see how it, we'll see how it looks. You let me know how this looks, all right? So now we're gonna jump in from active stabilization now. Well, let's do a little running test first. I'm just holding it, hand holding, that's it. No gimbal, not like that, ain't playing that game. How's that look? Okay, now this is active. Now you're seeing what that looks like. Now we're gonna go into dynamic stabilization and we're gonna check that out. Guys, we are now on the dynamic active stabilization on the ZVE-1. Now I'm gonna have to probably do a little cropping. I don't really see the vignette on the screen on my uh, ZVE-1 screen. But I will cut that out if there is one, just enough to see where we're at. Now, how does this look, right? I'm gonna do a little bit of running test and I'm not trying to be careful. I'm just walking like normal, like a normal Joe would walk. So I'm gonna try a little jog here. No, I'm not gonna run in a walk, but you know, hey, whatever. I just wanna see if it holds up. Now I heard when it has a problem, it's because of you doing this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I ain't all about doing that. So how's the stable look, guys? How's that look? On the ZVE-1. Now I'm gonna do all kinds of low light tasks and things like that. It's getting a little darker right now, but I wanna see how the auto exposure does. This is just on auto. I'm not running that yet, but I'm gonna be doing all kinds of tests against the R8, the ZVE-10. I'm gonna do low light, I'm gonna do 1080p, I'm gonna do 60 frames per second, all that stuff. But for now, this test, checking out the stabilization. Is it worth, is it worth the hype? This is a really wide lens, APS-C lens, but it's still gonna be in full frame mode with the crop, with the dynamic, but that's like a clear and zoom thing, and crop it at 10%. Anyways, we're, we're gonna see what it looks like. What does the quality look like, right? 30 frames per second right now on the ZV-E1, dynamic stabilization, 11 millimeter, 1.8 lens. It works great on the ZV-E10, but you have to run it through Catalyst Browse. This way, I won't have to, but it is a quality that much better, more like a full frame quality. So, I don't know, we're gonna find out, we're gonna check this out, and we're gonna, uh, let, let me know in the comments below what you think, right? Dynamic stabilization, it looks wide on my screen. Let me know what you think. Let me know how it looks for you, to you. Let me know how it looks to you. So this is the test, quick test. Two things I notice about this sensor. One, it's supposed to be really awesome in low light. Two, this sensor is amazing with the exposure, the auto exposure. When you go from light rooms to dark rooms and things like that, that's what it's supposed to be awesome for. And I'm telling you, this thing is not a whole lot bigger than the ZVE-10. You know, with this 11 millimeter lens, it's actually pretty light. So it's like the Canon R8 with a 16 millimeter with an enhanced stave, which is also a good way to go. Man, this exposure, I mean, on the screen it looks great, but you know, you know how that goes. So once I get this bad boy in post, uh, 
check it out and uh, I'll throw this up and you let me know what you think. But this is the 11 millimeter 1.8 and uh, throw in the comments below what you think will make a better vlogging lens. So the 18 millimeter San May, 18 millimeter San Yang lens, uh, 2.8, which is really light, it's like 100 and some grams, or the 17 to 28 2.8 from Tamron. Now that lens, uh, it's gonna be bigger. It's like 400 some grams. So if I'm just gonna use it for like a vlogging thing, I think the same thing's better. Because one, it's cheaper. And two, it's lighter. So, and that's pretty much what I, I don't really care about this. The 18 to 28, the range. Because I'm not really gonna use anything between 18 to 28. I already have a 28 to 200 Tamron 2.8. Um, where it starts at 28 and I have a 35 and I have a 50 I have an 85 so I have those covered and I don't really need anything between the 17 and 28 and I can use clear image zoom on these and zoom in so even at 18 I can clear uh, image zoom into like 24 28 if I wanted to you know if I had with an 18 so you know with the ZVE one so let me know in the comments below what you think guys dynamic stave we're running this bad boy we're, we're, I, need to, I need to find this stuff out because the A7C2 is coming out. And that was, that's got the A7 IV sensor. I know what that can do. And that's an amazing sensor too. But, man, I'm just, so far, you know, I haven't had any issues over here. You know, it does get warm. I used it in the studio for a little bit. And it gets warm when you're on 4K60 and stuff, but never had it overheat. Depends on how long you're gonna use it. But I do have a fan in the studio. I can just run a little fan on it. Uh, you mic it to yourself and it ain't no big deal. But out here, yeah, you need to know, right? So it's like 75 degrees out or so right now. So it's not that hot. So it's not a really good test for overheating, but we'll get there, we'll get there. But let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, you know, I already had the A7 IV, so I already tested that sensor. I know what it can do and it's good, but the A7 IV was too big. Wasn't a good kind of walk around camera for me. I don't really care about pictures. So, all right guys, there it is. Uh, can't wait to do more tests and to get in the nitty gritty of things. ZVE-1, the walking mode, dynamic stabilization. Checking out the stabe if you're walking towards something. I heard it's not too good when you pan. So let's give that a test. Let's do a little bit of panning here. So it kind of, it's a little wonky when you pan. You just gotta, well, but if you, if you move slow, looks like it is, uh, it's fine. It's just if you try to whip it. With the dynamic so this is dynamic stabilization and on my camera it looks good but you know how that goes so this is dynamic stave zve1 and then i'm going to run this test with the active stave and see how that looks but obviously you know how it's more jittery when you take a step and that kind of stuff but so far this has been pretty solid so let's check out the active Okay, guys, so I'm going to have to crop this in post because it's showing a vignette. So I'll show it with a vignette, and then I'll show you when it's cropped. And uh, But this is active stabilization. What do you think about this? We'll do a little panning. The panning is actually better this way. You can go a lot faster without it like kind of being jarring. But you'll probably notice some jitter in the steps. You know what I mean? So... You be the judge. This is active. The other one was dynamic, but this is active. How's that look? How's that look? Leave some comments in below. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Have a great day.